But is that true? And I thought what I'd do for this video is compare the last four Supreme Court justices to be seated. That's Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett. These are all Trump nominees. And this is Ketanji Brown Jackson, who is nominated by Joe Biden. And I know a lot of people hate AI, but I love it for unbiased comparisons on multiple variables. And so to start with, we're going to go to Elon Musk's Grok, and I'm going to ask it, can you give me a side-by-side -side comparison of all the recent Supreme Court justices and their qualifications before being named to the bench? Let's compare the resumes of Ketanji Brown Jackson, Amy Coney Barrett, Brett Kavanaugh, and Neil Gorsuch. I'd like a detailed breakdown of their previous education, clerkships, and experience as both a lawyer and judge before being named to the bench. If possible, rank them one through four at the end and include a score of 100 for each. 100 being the most qualified candidate ever and zero being wholly unqualified. And as you can see, there is my prompt and here is its reply. It created this massive long table here of all the information. And then down here at the end, it says that it's going to rank at 20% on education, 20% on clerkships, 30% on legal experience, and 30% on judicial experience. And as you can see down here at the bottom, under the ranking and scoring, it actually ranks Ketanji Brown Jackson first with a score of 92 out of 100. Then it ranks Brett Kavanaugh second with a score of 88 out of 100. If we scroll down here, you'll see that Neil Gorsuch takes third with a score of 86 out of 100. And last is Amy Coney Barrett with a score of 80 out of 100. And then just for good measure, I said, if you did this same analysis with all nine Supreme Court justices at the time they were nominated, can you give me the same rankings and score? And here's how Grok ranked all nine Supreme Court justices with Sonia Sotomayor taking first with 94 out of 100. And Amy Coney Barrett isn't last anymore. That belongs to Clarence Thomas with 78 out of 100. So I'm sorry, conservatives, if you're looking for DEI hires that have been placed on the Supreme Court, this is your number two offender and this is number one.